Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Smart Stranger YouTube channel. I'm your favorite Shamita, back again with a new informative video, especially for the juniors studying in MIT Manipal. In this video, I'm going to cover about the grading system that is applicable in Manipal Institute of Technology, Manipal. So if you are a junior studying in the first year or in MIT campus, this video is completely dedicated for you guys. Please watch it till the end so that you will completely know what is CGPA, GPA, 3 credit, 4 credit subject and everything you need to know before you start your academics work okay so let's dive deep into the video don't skip and watch it to the end so grading system the grading system in Manipal is for 10 point 10 pointer GPA and 10 pointer CGPA system I'll, I'll explain what is GPA and CGPA at the end of the video because before that you have to understand a lot of terms and the grades start from A plus and ends in F. A plus A, B, C, D, E and F. So A plus corresponds to 10, A corresponds to 9, B corresponds to 8 and so on. And F corresponds to fail which is 0 points. And I hope this is clear. Now let's go on to what is 3 credit course and what is 4 credit course. So 3 credit course are the subjects which have 3 half classes in a week. 4 credit course or subjects which have four half classes in a week. Okay, when it comes to labs, we have two credit labs and one credit labs. One credit labs will have three half sessions in a week. And two credit labs will also have three half sessions in a week along with a mini project which you have to submit at the end of the semester. Okay, it differs, two credit labs will differ from branch to branch. Some two credit labs will expect you to appear for six half sessions in a week, but most of the two credit labs will expect you to Submit a project, mini project at the end of the week, I mean at the end of the semester and attend three half sessions in a week. So it depends and differs for different branches, okay? So I hope you are you I hope you guys are clear with what is three credit subject, four credit subject, two credit subject, and one one credit subjects. So now let's go on to the CGP and GPA calculation. So I don't have a whiteboard, so I will explain you guys about how the GPA and CGPA is calculated in a rough notebook. I hope you will guys understand the way it is done. I'll try to explain it and uh, keep it simple. So let's dive into the notebook. Uh, so guys, I have prepared a small chart to explain you what is GPA and CGPA and how it is calculated. CGPA is, don't mind my handwriting, it's kind of worse. So CGPA is cumulative grade point average and GPA is grade point average. So in the first semester, for example, if you have four subjects, basic electronics, engineering max, physics lab and engineering graphics lab, which have this following credits, three credit, four credit, one credit and two credit. And Say for example, or oh grade, the grade, G-R-A-D-E, okay, the grade, you say for example, you get A grade, A plus, C and B in the following subjects after the end of your first semester. So as I said, A stands for 9 points, A plus 10, C 7 and B 8. Now how you, how the points are calculated? So the points are calculated like this. So you got, it's a three, basic electronics is a three credit lab and you got A in that. So which means your point will be 9 into 3, 27 points. So same like that max, 10 into 4, 40 points, 7 into 1, 7 points, 8 into 2, 16 points. Now the number of credits is counted. The total number of credits is 3 plus 4 plus 1 plus 2, which is 10 credits in total for the semester. And here the number of points you obtained for the 10 credits is 90. So CGPA is calculated by dividing the total number of points you got uh, by the number of credits, total number of credits. So 90 divided by 9, which is 9. Sorry, 90 divided by 10, which is 9. So your G sorry, your GPA for the first semester would be 9 out of 10. Okay, I hope this is clear. Now you are moving on to your second semester, which is, uh, okay. So you are moving on to your second semester. So same in, uh, it, everything, uh, GPA is calculated in a similar way for the second semester also. Biology, Math, PSUC Lab and EVS. 3 credit, 4 credit, 1 credit and 2 credit subjects correspondingly. Say you got D grade, B grade, A and A plus and D corresponds to 10 as I said before. You are calculating your points in a similar way. 6 into 3, 18, 8 into 4, 32, 9 into 1, 9, 10 into 2, 20. I hope you get how the points are clear, uh, calculated. So at the end, you are calculating the total number of credits and the total number of points you scored. So credit, uh, total number of credits are 10 and number of points you got is 79. Now you, are, now you are dividing the total number of points by, by the total number of credits in 
which is like 79 divided by 10, 7.9. So your overall GPA for the second semester is 7.9. And now let's talk about CGPA. CGPA this is nothing but cumulative grade point average. CGPA is nothing but the average of both the semesters, first semester and second semester. In the first semester, you got 9 GPA and in second semester, you got 7.9 GPA. 7.9 plus 9 divided by 2, which gives you 8.45 CGPA. So your overall CGPA at the end of first year is 8.45 out of 10. So is this clear? I just gave the gist of GPA and CGPA for uh, just four subjects. You can calculate Sim in a similar way for all the other subjects. I hope this is clear, okay? That's it, my friends. I hope you guys understood what CGPA, GPA calculation is and what are the credits and the grading system in MIT campus. I hope it was useful for you guys. And that is it. If you guys have any more doubts regarding this, please feel free to contact me on my Instagram page, sanmata underscore 152. And also feel free to comment it in the comment section. I'll be very much happy to explain you guys and help you guys out, okay? So I'll meet you guys soon in the next video. I'll end the tab. Bye bye. See you. Love you loads.